All right, 5-28. Solve the equation 3 equals 8 to the power of x for x accurate to the nearest hundredth or two decimal places. So let's think about 8 first of all. It's a great number. 8 to the power of 0 is 1. 8 to the first power we know is going to be 8. We're trying to figure out what power we have to raise 8 to to get it to equal 3. So we've got this equation here, 8 to the power of x equals 3. So more or less, we're going to solve this for x. Now to start out, let's just go ahead and kind of use a kind of a reasoning approach here with the calculator, or kind of a kind of a guess and check method. As we think about it, though, we've got one and eight, so three is kind of stuck in between those two. So we know that our power that we're raising eight to is going to have to be between zero and one. So usually a great number to start out with here is the one in the middle. So let's think about what would 8 to the 1 half power, or 0 0.50, equal. So you can do this on your calculator. That's fine. Let's go ahead and do that here. Let's do 8, and we're going to raise it to the power of 0 0.50. When I do that, I get that's pretty close to 3. We're at 2.828, so that's approximately, let's do approximately here, 2.83. So we're still a little short here. We're still a little less than 3, so let's increase this. Let's go ahead then and say, all right, 8 to the power of, let's say, 51 hundredths, and this will probably be an approximation as well, so let's do 8 raised to the power of 0 0.51 to enter. We got a little bit closer there. This one's approximately, we have 2.887, so let's just go ahead and round that to 2. 8 and 9. So we're getting warmer. Let's try the next one. Let's say 8 to the power of 52 hundredths. So let's say here 8 to the power of 0 0.52. Now we're at about 2.95, 2 and 95 hundredths there. Remember, I'm rounding these. So we're getting pretty close. Remember, we're trying to get to three. So you can climb, you know, climb your way up like we're doing right now. That's not a problem. Let's say 8 to the power of 0 0.53. Let's see what that's going to be. Now we're at three and one hundredth there, so that's pretty close. Now as we keep climbing here, you notice here that now we're above three, so the value that we would have to raise eight to, or in terms of you know the power, is going to have to be between fifty-two hundredths and fifty-three hundredths. But because it's only asking us to go to two decimal places then it looks like our winner here is going to be 53 hundredths because it is only one hundredth off and this one's about five hundredths off. Unless we're playing Wheel of Fortune, in which case we've gone over here and uh, somebody else gets the other showcase, but 
In this case, we're going to say 8 to the x power, we wanted to say it was going to equal 3. Well, that's going to be, x is going to be approximately 0 0.53 or 53 hundredths. Now, it would be smart to check it here. And let's think about how we could do that. We do have an equation. And we did just learn in the last chapter how to solve any kind of equation graphically on the calculator. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's take this equation. And we're going to break it into two parts. We're going to set one side as its own function. And we're going to set the other side as its own function. And then we're going to find the intersection. So we could say y is equal to 8 to the power of x. And then we'll say y is equal to 3. And then we'll look at the solution to this system on the calculator. So let's go in here to our y equals menu. The first one here is y equals 8 to the power of x. The second one, y equals 3. Remember, this one's going to be an exponential curve. This one is just going to be a horizontal line because we don't have any x value there. So its slope is 0. Let's graph it. There's our exponential curve. And there is our horizontal line where y equals 3. In fact, let's just zoom in a little bit here. Let's do a zoom box. I'm just going to create a box around the area I want to look at. So I'm going to enter. Move it to the right as far as we want. Let's move it down as far as we want. That should be good. Let's hit enter again. And it'll zoom in so we can see that real well. Now we can do our intersect function under the calculate menu on the calculator. So let's do second, trace button, go to number five. And let's see, the first curve is our exponential, so we'll just hit enter and mark it. Now we're on our second function. Hit enter and mark it. Hit enter one more time there. And we get the intersection. When y is three, we have x is 0 0.52832. So our approximation of 0 0.53 was pretty close there. So, and since we were only allowed to go to two decimal places, this is the, the uh, closest number to 0 0.5283, yada, yada, yada. So this would be another way that you could find it by graphing it here and then rounding it. So x would equal 0 0.53. If you have questions, make sure that you ask your teacher this is problem 5-28 from chapter 5.1.2. This is Mr. Boyd. I'm going to go do some more math homework. Yay!